Hello everyone, welcome back to the video tutorial series of the web development. I am your instructor Varsha Tak. Let's start our lecture. So topics to be covered in this lecture that is PHP array, associative array and multidimensional array. Okay. In last lecture we have learned about uh, the indexed array and uh, how to create associative array. So in this lecture we will see how to traverse with associative array and how to create multidimensional array and how to traverse with multidimensional array. So uh, let's start with our lecture series. Traversing associative array, we can traverse associative arrays in a similar way uh, did in numeric array using the loops. Okay, so using the loops, we can traverse, uh, traverse the associative array, same as the indexed array. We can look through the associative array in a two way, again using the for loop and for each loop. Okay, so now let's see here, uh, traversing associative array. Here we have taken the example of uh, colors, color as a key and this, uh, this object as a value. So yellow bottle is there green box is there, red pen is there, white book is there and black bag is there. Okay, so this all the colors are key and this bottle, box, pen, book and bag are the objects. Okay, so here let's see looping using the for each loop. So for each your array name that is my array as dollar well, this is user defined variable, associative on which dollar well, uh, dollar well value. So that is this two is what user defined variable. Okay. So this will work as a key and this will work as an object. Now echo color is dollar well and object is dollar well dot value. So every time it will display like yellow uh, color is yellow and object is bottle like this one. Okay. So every time it will print like this, color is green and object is box, color is red and object is pen, like etc. So this is using the for each loop. Now using the for loop, how we can define? So for using for loop, you have to do the dollar key is equal to what? Array keys. Okay, so array keys, that means it will return you the key, total key that uh, that is defined in my array. So this function will return you the key and round that is a uh, total element. So count of dollar my array. So total object is stored that is stored in the round. So now uh, you can display it dollar i is equal to zero dollar i raised in round and plus plus dollar i. So echo dollar keys of dollar i dollar keys of dollar i and dollar my array is equal to dollar keys of dollar i. So what it will display? It will display like this. Here it will display yellow, green, red, white, black, this key and using this we can display its element. So keys, dollar keys, first, first key is what? Yellow. So yellow object. So yellow object is what? Bottle. Okay, so uh, and at the yellow key, the bottle is stored. So it will display the bottle. Clear? Now let's see the practical related to this. How to traverse? Okay, so for traversing, use the for each loop. Which array is that? Dollar my array ar s dollar well so here it will refer as a key and it is associated with the value so dollar my well so this this variable will work as a key and this will variable work as a value now here echo
color is equal to dollar well and object is equal to dollar my well oh, my well okay then dot and you have to use this dear got it now just execute save it and refresh this page Okay, just uh, the mistake is I have not closed to this double quotes. Just save it and refresh this page. Okay, so it is printing uh, bottle color yellow and object is color yellow and object is bottle. Color green and object is bag. Color red and object is bow. This bottle is the previous output. So just command this and refresh this so you will have the better idea got it so like this way you can uh, use this variable uh, you can use this uh, for the traversing the array and uh, to traverse using the for loop so what you have to do to traverse using the for loop you have to first create one variable key is equal to you have to write <coughs> array key so it will consider here uh, it is showing the hint you have to consider it as a variable dollar my array got it now the semicolon do the semicolon and after that dollar total element is equal to count dollar my array mm, our, we have written m i a r okay so just close it after that for dollar i is equal to zero dollar sorry dollar i less than uh, what we have written total element okay then dollar i plus plus just print it echo dollar keys of i okay then dollar my array of dollar key keys of i so like this way, it will display a particular object of the particular key. Okay, just do it and write down the BR so it will display in a new line. Do the semicolon. Just execute this. Just refresh the page. Uh, user defined constant total element assume drive so let's check what is the error is okay we have not uh, defined it as a yeah. just refresh it
everywhere you have to put the dollar sign. Got it? Yellow bottle, green bag and red bowl. So like this way you can display using the for loop also. Now let's see uh, the last type that is multidimensional array. Okay, so last type is a multidimensional array. Uh, now all of you aware about the multidimensional array as you have learned in the C that is uh, uh, you also have done the practical for the matrix multiplication, matrix displaying, etc. Uh, so here PHP multidimensional array is also known as array of arrays. It allows you to store the tabular data in array. Okay, so here whenever we are going to create the multidimensional array in PHP, you have to create array inside array. Okay, so in other words, we can define multidimensional array as an array of array. As the name suggests, every element in this array can be an array and they can also hold other server. So if you are going to define so many dimensional array, so five dimensional array, then there are numbers of sub array inside another array. So it will become very complicated if we are going to define the degree of the multidimensional array is more than three. Okay, so it is advisable that not to use this multidimensional array for more degree. Now PHP multidimensional array can be represented in the form of matrix which can be represented by rows and columns. Now here you can see how we are going to create a multidimensional array. So here this dollar employee is defining one array in which again there are three array value is there. Okay, so here array, it, uh, this array represents the employee's data. So here ID of the employee is one, name of the employee is Sunu and its salary is this. Same way this is second. Uh, ID is second, John and his salary is this, third, Rahul and salary is this. So how we can represent is using the tabular form. So you can represent, this will represent the ID, so first column. This will represent the name, so this is the second column. And this will represent the salary, so that will be the third column. So like this way, you can define the multidimensional array. Now here see the array example. As we are going to define the array, so first of all, you have to create the main array. In that array, you have to define this uh, value. So array uh, 1, Suno and its salary, then 2, John, salary, 3, Rahul and its salary. Now, how we are able to define, how we are able to display the element? As you can see, this is at the position 0, 0, 0 row and 0 column. This is at the position 0, 1. Okay, so 0 row and first column. This is at the position 0 row and at the third column. So uh, according to that dimension, you can display the value. So suppose I want to display this value. What I have to write? Eco dollar time 0, 0. So it will print 1. Eco dollar time 0, 1. So it will print this Suno. And eco dollar time, uh, sorry, EMP. It is EMP, not time. EMP 02, so it will display this uh, its salary. Clear? So like this way, uh, you can use the multidimensional array. Now, how to traverse using the multidimensional array? So we have to display the array same way as we have discussed in last slide. And how you are able to define? You uh, here we know the matrix is three by three. Okay, so three by three matrix is there. So you can use it directly like this way as you are going to display the matrix. So dollar row is equal to zero, dollar row less than three, dollar row plus plus. And for column, dollar column is equal to zero. Here you can use i and j also. This is user defined variable. Dollar column less than three, then dollar column plus plus. Okay, and you have, you have to display the value. So now let's see how we are able to create this variable, uh, sorry, this uh, array. Okay, so here in the same file, uh, just create eco multidimensional example. Br. Br. Okay, so it will print in a new line. 
Now next, how to create multi-dimensional array? Suppose I am using dollar temp is equal to array. You have to use the array function. Then in that array function, okay, use another array. in which you just find the value one, then uh, name is, suppose uh, Sunu, that we have seen. Then uh, its salary, suppose I am writing it as a 40,000. Then create another array, ID is two, then name is Bob then the salary is suppose 50,000 okay now here comma not semicolon this is not a string Done. Now create another array. Three. Allies. The salary is supposed sixty thousand. Okay. Now do the semicolon over here. Got it? So like this way you are able to define this uh, multidimensional array. Now suppose you want to print. So echo temp, sorry, dollar, dollar temp. And here you have to write, suppose I want to print the soon. So 0 and it, it has the position 1. The semicolon it and do it. Just execute this. Okay, so multidimensional and it is displaying soon. If you want to display any other value, then here you can see. Suppose I am display, I want to display Bob. So just change the index, save it, and refresh the page. So it will display Bob. Got it? Now how we can traverse through this multidimensional array? So let's see. So do it for dollar i is equal to zero. Dollar i less than three semicolon dollar i plus plus. No. Write the same loop again. Do it here, J. Okay. Now here, in which, again, you have to display echo. Our array name is what? Dollar temp. I and J. Got it? Now, after the completion of this loop, you just print the PR. So, uh, each and every record will be displayed in the new line. Done. 
got done now just to refresh it mm, see the error constant i is assumed i maybe okay uh, compulsory you have to do, do the dollar that i forgot just save it and refresh it got it so here you can see this it will be split uh, like this way one sonu and four thousand two bob five thousand three allies sixty sorry forty thousand fifty thousand and sixty thousand so like this way you can traverse using the array so summary of this lecture we have learned about the php array that is associative array and multi-dimensional array we have covered indexed array in last lecture uh, so uh, now we are aware about the three different types of array that is indexed array associative array and multi-dimensional array okay so thank you for watching we will meet in the next lecture uh, with new topic thank you